So the first thing we need to do is we need to install, uh, download these two files. Um, open your browser. Navigate to my website, which is here, and download these two files. Put them on your desktop to make things easier. Okay, the next thing we need to do is open Dolphin or any file manager. We want to go to root, user, local, share, and we want to create a new folder. Name it M-E-D-U-S-A dot G-U-I dash G-U-I. Okay? Okay, now we should see that folder in here. Yep, here we go. Okay, nothing in the folder by default. We just created it. Okay, the only file we want to drag in here is this one. So let's go ahead and move that into here. Okay, so now it's in root, user, local, share, Medusa GUI. This is our image icon for the actual Java file. Okay, so we can go ahead and close that. Next thing we want to do is we want to go to our SBIN right here, see? So let's go ahead and open our Dolphin Manager again. Let's go over to SBIN. Let's drag this file in there. And we'll just move that there. Then we're going to create a new script called M-E-D-U-S-A. First name it with this dot sh. Medusa GUI dot sh. Okay. Let's go ahead and make that script executable. Now let's go ahead and open it with uh, KWrite, Gedit, Nano, whatever you want to edit it with. Okay. Let's go back to Firefox. And then we'll just copy the script that I already have written. Okay. And we'll go ahead and just paste that right in there. Okay. So what this is going to do is this script's going to make it easier for us to just run the run the GUI, which is the graphical user interface, right from any command line. So let's go ahead and save that. Should be good. Um, and just for safe measure, let's go ahead and open a command line. CD into SBIN. This is just for safe measure. Ch mod level 777 that Medusa file. Okay. Oh, let's see where is it at? Oh, I spelt it wrong. Okay. Perfect. Okay, that's just for safe measure, just to be on the safe side. Okay, from so now we should be able to run it. Oh, I forgot one thing. Rename this now. Just pull off this dot sh. Okay, perfect. Now we should be able to run it. Perfect. There we go. So now we have the GUI file in our SBIN um, and you don't have to copy the script you can also run this like this you can uh, CD into SBIN if you don't want that script in there and you can type this to java-jar this is how you execute a Java file edusa dash gui.jar this will also run it Okay. Oh, let's see. Cannot create Java virtual machine. All right, maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I'll look into that. Um, it could be an Oracle option. Uh, 
or I typed it wrong, same thing. But so, just to be on safe measure, go ahead and just run this script. And you'll be fine with that. And then go ahead and play with it, see how you like it. Tell me if it's good. There you go.